Well, howdy tubers. Well, I haven't done really anything, but I'm getting ready to start something. But, uh, of course, the reason was because of uh, Jesus' resurrection yesterday, and I just pray that everybody uh, had a good Easter and and got to be with his family. So, anyways, I'll show you what I'm going to work on here. First off, I guess I'll show you Spike. He had, had his last laser treatment today. And I guess I just have to figure that uh, none of this is really going to help him. But I feel better than at least trying. And uh, $1,500 later, he's still not running or jumping. But he's I guess he's getting around a little better. He's... Uh, especially with his little booties on there. He doesn't slip and slide on the my hardwood floors or tile or anything like that, so that was a better thing. But I thought I'd give you an update on the little guy. Uh, of course, uh, everybody was uh, holding him and playing with him at, the, at my sister's yesterday for Easter and my mom and dad and uh, nephew and, and niece and couple others I can't remember what to call them cousins or something I don't know anyway um, this here's what I'm fixing to get ready to bend all these these are 45 degree bent on these shorter ones I think they're yeah they're four inch long and I guess these are probably six inches long and these these longer ones go here and then you got to bend two 45s in those. And that one there. And these go somewhere else. But I've already, I've already taken these on my miracle wheel. I guess I ought to show you that. Okay, and clean them up. Let me show you that. I don't think I've talked about that before. Well, this is what I call the miracle wheel. It's actually a... Norton, the Norton, Norton convolute wheel, but I mean it cleans up. It's it looks like it's it's steel or, or not steel. It looks like it's stone, but it, it's actually a little rubbery. You can stick your fingernail in it, but man, will it clean up and polish aluminum just so fast. And I wish I would have had it when I built the. Uh, ultra cruiser because it was sure helpful on the h5 and, and of course now on the on the new ultra cruiser so um, you know you need to uh, clean up the edges of the aluminum so it doesn't doesn't uh, crack or, or uh, yeah cause a crack so that's why you got to do that and of course you've got to deburr everything and I I know I keep forgetting to say about the de deburring process, but you got to deburr after you drill the holes. You got to deburr the. Let's see how I can. You know, you got to. Of course, those are laser cut in. They don't really leave as bad as a. Um, uh, I don't know what to call it. Flashing or something on the backside as it does with the drill bit. And of course, using the. Roper punch doesn't do bad either, but I still go back and 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 deburr because you know if you've got a little burr there and then you put a piece of piece of metal or aluminum or whatever back behind it, well that little burr is going to hold it from being flush to the metal, and plus that's just extra weight you have to be carrying around, which isn't a good thing. So anyway, before we get going too long, and I do want to. Uh, I do want to use this some more, but I want to I want to try using it when I need to. Besides, uh, or so that I'm not wasting a bunch of Avex rivets. So, of course, I'm not using a whole bunch of Avex rivets, as you know, anyways, because I'm doing all these with uh, solid rivets. So, I guess actually I could afford to to do it, but still rather save them. So. Anyway, hope everybody had a great Easter, and uh, 
staying safe. So there you go, and God bless.